Hello everyone, it's Crafty Mima's Place. I'm Mary Wakefield, and today I'm here to tell you all about Celebration. Celebration is a sale that Stamping Up has once a year from January through March. This year it's January 3rd through March 31st. With a $50 purchase, you receive many beautiful items from this free catalog. As you can see, this one is called the Gangs All Mirror. This is what I'm going to work with today with you. And you can see it's only a $50 purchase that you get this set for free. And I'm going to teach you this uh, I'm going to teach you this technique which is called masking. Right here we have some lovely lily pad and lovely lily pad dies and you can see all the beautiful projects that they're making from this the dies are a hundred dollar purchase but the lily pads only 50. and oh those are what stampin up calls reversibles so you can turn them either way and they work on both sides there's a uh, lily pad impression designer series paper there's metallic baker's twine and sequin combo pack. This one here is called Happy Birthday to You. And in March, in February, a set of coordinating dies will come out for this as a special sale item. This is a whole kit. It makes eight cards. It's all inclusive, which means it gives you everything you need. Stickers, stamps, uh, ink, paper, uh, glue. Everything's in there. And then here is some golden honey specialty paper. You can see some of the things they've made out of it. This is an awesome set right here. This has got so many sentiments. This would be a great set for someone that likes to make cards and needs sentiments. And coordinating dies will be coming out for this one too. Uh, $50. Here's another set. This one is called Thoughtful Blooms and it has a punch. $50 for the stamps. $50 for the punch. Oh, I'm sorry. $100 for the punch. And in uh, February, they will be coming out with paper that will go with it. They have a lovely oriental looking set, Power of Hope bundle, which is $100. It has a um, texture uh, pad. What do you call that? It has an embossing folder and the dies. Can see some of the lovely things they've made with it now this one is a stinking cute one but the only way to get this little lily lady little ladybug woo, can't talk today is to host a party that's the only way you get it for free and they will be putting out coordinating dies for this one also so if you host a party in any time between now and the end of March, you would receive this for free. And here's a whole page on the $99 starter kit. With the new starter kit this year, they're giving away so many free things. For $99, you get to choose $125 worth of product. Let me read a few of these things for you. Um, even the... Uh, Celebration stuff can be chosen. You get this new mini paper cutter, which you can only get if you join. You cannot buy it. It's stinking cute. I mean, it's so cute. Um, you get a six by six assortment of all the designer papers that are in this handmade for you mini catalog. And your choice of any stamp set including the celebrations for any price one stamp set anywhere in any of the books handmade for you uh celebration or the the annual catalog all for 99 dollars. 
So if you'd like to become a Stamping Up demonstrator, this is a great time to do that. Today we will be working with the Gangs All Mirror. And it's a lovely stamp set. As you can see, it has sentiments and different elements. The meerkats in a group, a single one, one coming out of his little hole, a party hat, a little lizard, and a cactus. This sentiment says, happy birthday to a stand-up friend. This one says, from all of us. So this makes a great stamp set if you're making cards for all of your office workers, your whole family, and this sentiment says we're here for you. We're going to be making a card using the masking technique. In fact, all of the projects that I've made today, here's the card, use the masking technique. As you can see, we use this die here to layer on all the different images onto this paper for the card. And then it says, happy birthday to a stand-up friend. And inside it says, from all of us. I also made a pizza box. These little pizza boxes are so handy. I mean, you can fit candy in there. You can fit three by three cards if you want to give somebody a gift. You can fit little ornaments, little decorations. This one I ran through an embossing with through the Big Shot with an embossing folder to give it a little texture. And I stamped right on the box with the different elements. And as you see, I used the masking techniques to layer the cacti. And the third one I made is this one here where I layered the meerkat behind one of the cactuses and then I popped another cactus up so that you could see it. Got your little lizard over here. I used another stamp set to give this little watercolor look to the paper. And uh, this is a different sentiment from that same stamp set. And that's the third one. So we will start making this card here and I will show you how we do it. For this card, to make it a little easier, we're going to use the Stamparatus. The Stamparatus is an awesome tool that you can use to stamp many things all at one time. You can use both plates to put different dies so that you can die, stamp one and then move the, tip, the lid and stamp a different one. We're only going to be using one side today for this technique. Okay, for this card, I have crumb cake cardstock. It's cut from a piece of 8.5 by 11. It's 5.5 by 8, scored at 4 and a quarter. Then I have a piece of very vanilla cardstock that's cut at 5 and a quarter by 4, and that'll go on the inside of the card. And then we have a piece of Mary Merlot cardstock that is cut at five and a quarter by four for the outside layering of the card. This piece is cut at five by four. I'm sorry, it's five by three and three quarters. This is what we will do our stamping on. So let's get started. These are magnets and they're very powerful magnets too. So they stick together and they're real hard to get back apart. But they, oh wow, mine broke. That's terrible. I'll have to call and tell them my. So I just have my paper. I'm going to be going in a horizontal. You want to start at the bottom and work your way upwards with your stamping. I want to do one standing up meerkat in the front. This is the one that I'm going to cut out a little party hat for. So I'm going to ink this up on a block because it's easier to center it where I want it. So I'm going to put him right there. Now I need post-it notes. Post-it notes are your friends. So here, you want to make sure you put the adhesive down to cover your little meerkat. And then I'm going to stamp on over that. 
and then I'm going to cut him out so that I can use him as a mask so that I don't get anything on him. We probably won't need him till maybe the third or the second row because we're just going to get them as close together in the first row as possible. But you want to make sure that you have some way to cover them up so that you don't get ink on them. There we go. Now we got them covered up. Now we're going to decide where we want to put our other ones. I think I'm going to put one here and I'm going to lay the, the pad, the stamp down face down so that when I put this down it's going to stick and then I can ink it up and stamp. Make sure you get enough on there so that you can see all the little pieces there and then you just press on it and there's the first set. Now in between you're going to want to wipe it off I use baby wipes because they're the easiest for me. Stampin' Up has a chamois that you can buy to wipe your stamps off with. I'm going to kind of center this one over here on this side. Go, oh, put that down there, ink it up. And there you go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a cup of post-it note and we're gonna put it right here over those meerkats. And we're going to come back down again. Now, we're going to take our scissors and we're going to just, you don't have to be precise with this. Just, you know, enough to give it a shape so you know where you're going. And to cover up their little bodies so that when you stamp they don't get all messed up. Okay, and then that way I can cover up my people. And do another one. I think I got them a little lined up wrong. There we go. Let's try it that way. Oh. One more time. There we go. Right. There we go. Now I'm going to wipe off my... So I don't get it on my fingers mostly. As you can see, I'm really good at getting ink on my fingers. Now we're going to line this one up kind of where we want this one to be. And that ought to be good right there. Oops, that just wants to stick to my finger. Okay, put that down and Ink it up. Actually, you don't need to ink the whole thing. You could just ink the bottom. And press. And now you have a family of meerkats. They're getting larger family here. So I'm going to move this down just a little bit so that I can get a little more. And you notice I didn't have to move anything because it's stuck there so I can re-stamp and get a better, a little bit further down. There we go, that's a little better. So you can see they're all standing in line there. So now you bring this back up here and now we're gonna have to make another one for this side. So I'm gonna clean off my stamp to lay it on there to where I know that was pretty close and then I can close it put 
my post-it note on here again. This one out real quick and then we will do one more row and then we will call it good enough and put our little greeting and everything together on the inside of the card on the other one I believe I put the cactus on the inside I really think the cactus is really cute but then I live in the southwest so cactuses are all I really ever see so we don't have too many flowers or trees in Nevada so unless you live up in the mountains and I don't so so I'm gonna kind of work this one over this way just a little bit more See if I can't get a few more people in there and then we're gonna call it good enough because this takes a long time so finish the card and call it a day Hopefully this is good and we're done. Ooh, that came out pretty nice. Look, we have lots of little meerkats there. And I think that worked really well. So we're going to just call it good there. And clean off our little stamp. So put the stamping thing away. And we'll color this one. And I'll show you what colors I used. Color. Stampin' blends. Love those two. All right, for the, get that out of the way before I stab myself with it. For coloring, I used four markers. That's all I used, Stampin' Blends. I used Light So Saffron, Light Old Olive. This one is Dark Daffodil Delight. That was for the actually for the cactus more than here the, those are and then for this one here for the meerkats we're going to use uh, the ivory marker because i found that that works the best and you don't want to fill them in all the way you just kind of want to go around some of the sides of them maybe make all of them colored in on some maybe just do some color in on others but you get the general idea. You just wanna kinda highlight them with this soft color. And then this guy in the center, he's gonna be all colored in because he's the birthday person because this is a birthday card, so. And you get the idea. You just fill in your little people, as many meerkats as you wanna do. I didn't color them completely. I basically just kind of shaded some of them and left the rest. Okay, so here's what we're going to do now for the hat. For the hat, I'm just going to take a very small little piece of Whisper, I'm sorry, very vanilla, and I'm going to stamp the little hat that's in the stamp set in a color. Whatever color you want to make your hat. I'm going to make this guy's little hat uh, pretty peacock. I don't know why. It just sounded good. It was the easiest one to get to. So I'm just going to ink this up. And make a little hat. There you go. little birthday hat for the little meerkat. Out here in the desert, we don't call them meerkats. We call them... Prairie dogs. Now we're going to cut this one out. Not being real fussy with it. Just basically just going around and cutting it out. This is what they call fussy cutting, but I'm not going to be fussy about it. I'm just going to kind of cut it out, kind of. And then we're going to glue that to his little head. 
And now he has a party hat. And I think that's the end of the cutting for now. Okay, find some glue. Just use a little snail. A little snail. And attach that to his little head. And there's his little party hat. And everybody's happy because it's his birthday. So. Now for the sentiment, we're going to use, oh, I need my, I need to clean my stamp off again. Put it away. Pretty peacock. Um, we're going to use the black memento to make a... Happy birthday to a stand-up friend. I have a couple of small pieces of scrap here that I was going to use to make like a little pendant. I'm going to color this one. I mean, just stamp this one like that. And that's done. And we're going to use the Make a pendant out of it on one end, and then we're going to do the same on this one and put them together. And then we'll put it on the card, and there you go. So I'll glue this one down. I need some more tape. My stale, snail adhesive has run out. Just put that right there like that. Put this all the way and put the card together. All right. I have to get some snail. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. We are going to attach... I'm not going to do that yet. We are going to put the Mary Merlot on the card front. Just using small pieces of adhesive. Snail adhesive. Okay. Now I'm going to take my mirror kits. And I'm going to Attach them to the front of the car too. Right here. And there they are. My meerkats. And then I'm going to use some dimensionals to pop the birthday banner up. And then on the inside here, I want to show you this beautiful cacti. It's a barrel cactus with flowers on it. Yes, I would know that. I live in the desert. Saguaro and barrel cactus, bunny ears. We have all kinds out here. So we're going to use the barrel cactus. And we're going to use the stamp pad. And we're just going to... Put maybe one over here, I think, in the corner, and I'll show you how to. Ta-da! And it's, they're really easy. I use the dark daffodil for the flowers, like I said, because it shows up better. Then I use the green, the light. Old olive. And 
then I'm just going to put a little bit of the so soft on wipes. Just a little bit to kind of fill it in, give it a kind of a yellowy texture. And for our dirt in the corner, I'm going to use the ivory. And there you go. Now all we have to do is put a little snail on it, attach it to the inside of the card, and we are done. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'm going to try and do at least one video a week with some new ideas on different techniques that you can use. Um, I have another stamp set that's from the uh, Celebration catalog, and I will be using that. It is the I don't have the paper yet because it hasn't come out yet, but I do have the Thoughtful Bloom and a little Bloom Punch, and I thought we would do some really cool ideas for that. So I will see you in a week, and um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you need a demonstrator, I'm here. Have a good day, guys.